We're here to break ground in the Geronic David Grayson Community Center. Uh, it's a bittersweet day. Three years ago today, he lost his life to gun violence. But our family decided in the community and as well as the center that cares to turn a bad situation into good. We hope to strengthen the lives of young people for years and years to come. The center that cares has been around for 14 years. Uh, we've probably reached over 3,000 young people and with the center being open and renovated we hope for years to come that generations of young people will come through this building as a community center and lives will be strengthened and transformed and changed. This place closed with Ozenham in, in 2002 but in the day of Ozenham it was known for the Ozenham strings that trained people in violin and musical instruments. It also was, uh, had a renowned basketball league throughout for years and we hope to return some of that of music and arts and culture and exposure and basketball and football and baseball and just keeping our kids engaged and exposed in positive uh, direction and alternatives. No question, we hope to have smart boards and flat screen TVs and help teach them to, you know, how to repair computers, how to fix computers, how to work on computers, how to, how to, to be most as computer literate as possible, uh, that they can pass all the exams and be Pittsburgh Promise ready and just get these kids to the next level. CARES believes in taking kids from pre-K through college and we have so many cases of young people who have gone all the way that we're proud of our 14 year history. We're online at the Center That Cares, uh, www.centerthatcares. You can call us at the church at 621-9612. We still need your support. This is a major undertaking. We've raised about $1.2 million, probably got another six, dollars $700,000 to raise. And we need more support from the community. Uh, the foundation community has been wonderful to the Center That Cares, um, a couple corporations, and now we need the community to pitch in. Whether it's a dollar or a hundred thousand dollars, we need your help. Well, we did. We were grace. We we're fortunate to have a grant from a Pace to do an assessment or sustainability. So we know it's going to take about a hundred thousand dollars a year to keep this building uh, moving and going. Uh, uh, Mark Turner and CYF has been good partners with the number of kids we serve. We have about 125 kids already in our K through fifth grade program. We have another large group of kids, about 70, 80 kids with a collaborative with 21st Century Grant. So we hope to even take on now the high school kids that they might be strengthened and uh, that the building is so attractive that they run here after school. Um, my family is, is all in. We've been part of this community since we arrived here 17 years ago, and we could not do this without the prayers and support of the community and the Grayson family.